most memorable backstage fight? Oh, well, okay. Um, I wasn't there for Eddie and Angle, but I was in Pensacola uh, at the actual Pensacola Coliseum on the waterfront. And Coquina, Yokozuna, was upstairs in one of the, the, the dressing rooms, locker rooms upstairs. And I was down on the stage watching a match. And I remember hearing a thud, 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 thud. And Yoko has always been a big guy. And uh, I see this guy who I did, and I didn't know who he was, but I seen him back around there earlier in the night. And uh, obviously made his way upstairs to, to Yoko's room. And uh, Yoko had, I didn't see the slap, but I just heard the thud, but Yoko had slapped him. He went down the stairs. Yoko walked down the stairs as he's coming up. He got down as this guy's coming up and slapped him again down the second flight of stairs. <laughs> now, that was the guy, as he got down to the stage level, took off running towards the door. So that was that was impressive. Uh, I don't I don't remember. Oh, yes, I do remember. I, I got one here from this guy because he, he, he sent me the email about my daughters looked me up. And they said, you said this about me. You weren't there. You don't know. I said, oh, contrary, mister. Because there, they, we uh, in Houston, they, we dressed in a hockey dressing room that have the uh, little stalls where you hang your clothes and things like that. Well, a fellow named Evan Johnson, who started wrestling for Vern Gagne in Minnesota, uh, came down during this three-day weekend. Paul Bosch is 50 years in wrestling Again, I was brought in for that too, and it was it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday special three day extravaganza. You have Vern Gagne, you have guys from all over the country coming in. Dick Slater was a booker at this time, out of San Antonio. Uh, so this guy from Minneapolis, Evan Johnson, big amateur wrestler guy and big Vern Gagne guy, uh, is booked. Dicky booked him against himself. So they go out and have their match. Myself, Chavo Guerrero, Manny Fernandez are standing near the door to the, the locker room. We're laughing and joking, just having a good time, kind of standing around. So after the match, we didn't see the match. After the match, Evan Johnson comes and slams open the door. And he's kind of walking around with his hands on his hips. And he's like mad about something. We don't say anything to him. But we're just looking at him like, what's wrong with this guy? Well, about two minutes later, a minute, whatever it was, Dickie's, Dick Slater comes back, and he opens the door. And Evan's standing right there, and Slater goes, what the hell was that? And Evan said, well, you tried to eat me up out there. And Slater said, well, but he's jumped in here, and he went, bam, into the hockey little gimmick where you put your clothes up. Slater grabbed him his nipple and like a titty twister <laughs> grabbed him as he went to the back this way and went bam, bam. Chavo, Manny, and myself, all three of us pulled Slater off, okay? He had a black eye and a busted lip, Evan Johnson did. We got him apart and uh, calmed down. So that was a Friday night. Saturday night, Vern came in, and uh, Vern, Slater, Paul, uh, and Evan went to the showers and they talked it out. Um, later, a few years ago, I was I was writing, a, uh, I, had, I had my own website and I was writing stories and stuff. And I said the fights that I'd seen. Uh, and I recall that his daughters had looked that up and, and asked him about it. And he, and he brought me back and says, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I opened my locker. He hit me from behind. I said, no, 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 no. I was there. There were no lockers there. There were just stalls. You're not, you don't have a clue. I'm from you. Anyway, so we went back and forth and he's trying to tell me about, he makes more money than Ric Flair. He makes more money than these guys now. He not he, He's living in the eighties. <laughs> he didn't know what the wrestling business is about now. He's an idiot, just a complete idiot. But that's, that's one of my other ones I've seen. So. <laughs>